Hello everyone. How's everyone today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Sure glad you're here. Uh, today we start a new map. I have uh, already bought some equipment. Uh, this map is Big Fields XXL. Uh, huge. Uh, some of the fields on here are 100 plus acres, while we have others that are over 2,000 acres. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be farming this map for a while, providing uh, there's no issues and I haven't seen any yet we have uh, multiple tractors running in this field trying to get it limed and this is one of the smaller fields uh, I previously ran a mulcher over this field and mulched it uh, and so far I am not understanding course play but I will uh, we're going to have to. Uh, I've got to. I've got to get course play down because we're going to need it desperately on on this map. Uh, but anyway, uh, these guys are doing a good job. They're getting across this field, and whenever we get done here, uh, we're going to put some fertilizer down. And then we're going to get it planted. So we'll let these guys get on with it. And as soon as they're a little farther along, I'll get back with you. All right. We've got uh, one of the guys done uh, with his liming job. The others will finish up pretty quickly. Uh, but we're going to take this over here uh, back to the farm and we're going to pick up a fertilizer and uh, we're going to start this guy off on fertilizing. So if you've watched my previous videos you'll know that uh, this next step I'm a little nervous with. <laughs> uh, you know, and, and I shouldn't be. I, I really shouldn't say that. It's just we've had uh, some issues with fertilizing. And I am just on pins and needles here hoping that this goes good. Uh, before we start fertilizing, we're going to step onto the field and uh, see what the condition of the field is. Now, I expect that it's going to say it just needs fertilizer. That's what should be. So, you know, we're, we're going to find out here. Uh, I have my hopes up. This is the first that I've done on this map, so I don't know. Let's walk out here and let's find out. Good deal. All right. So, oats were, was planted here. And uh, I would have liked for it to said that it was harvested. But anyway, at least it's picking up the fact that we put lime on it. So, uh, with that being said, let me pull up the HUD. 
All right, everything is fine there. Okay. Let's get over here and see what the fertilizer does. Now, if we have a problem uh, applying fertilizer, I'm probably going to stop it and we'll try to do something different. Maybe liquid fertilizer uh, or whatever. All right. Moment of truth, here we go. And it is working perfectly. All right. You don't know how glad I am to see this. Uh, absolutely. All right, now what we want to do is jump out of the tractor. And let's walk onto the field and perfect. The fertilizer state now is 50%. Uh, I, I cannot tell you how happy I am over that uh, from past experiences. I, I really don't... <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, I know a lot of you are feeling my pain and you understand what I'm talking about. But, uh, yes. Uh, that, that makes me very happy. Alright. Well, we've got another guy finishing up on Lime, so I'll get him whenever he finishes up, and I'll get him started uh, on Lime, on uh, another fertilizer. So we'll have two of them going in this field. They've got a much wider width that they spread at than the lime. So I'm thinking two is all we're going to need in this field. In this field. Now, this, like I said before, this is a smaller field. And uh, when we get into the, the big, big fields, we're going to need three, maybe four running in that field. Uh, later... Uh, in this series on this map uh, we're going to take a little tour or yeah a tour and uh, I'll just show you how big this map ap actually is and how big the fields are they are tremendous and that's what I like the big commercial farms uh and we are going to get into some big, big farming. Big, big farming. So, anyway, we'll get on with it. And whenever I get the second uh, fertilizer spreader out there, I'll get back with you. All right, we've got the second one started in this field. And as you can see, the width is tremendous. So, uh, like I say, two of them in this field will be plenty. And our guy over here is about to finish his job. Maybe a couple of more swipes and he'll have his done. But what we want to do is we want to make sure this guy turns the right way. And I don't know, we may have to hold him up. That's how wide he's spreading. So, uh, we'll see. But nevertheless, we still want to get him headed the right way. And that's always turning away from the other one. That way we'll never have a problem. So anyway, we'll we'll see here. Uh, is he going to turn the right way? No, he's not. So we'll stop him. And 
we'll get him over here where he's going the right way. All right, I don't know exactly how far. Uh, maybe I'll better come in just a little bit more. Yeah, something like that. I think we'll be safe there. All right. Oh, yeah. Yep, we'll be safe there. Anyway, uh, these guys are going to have this field knocked out quickly, real quick. All right. Uh, I'll get over with the other uh, lime spreader. Looks like he's got one more pass. Uh, so let me, let's go right over there and let's, well, okay, I can't click the switch. All right. Anyway, uh, let's get over there to the, well, we should be able to click over to him. There he is. All right. We'll get rid of this hood. Yeah, he's got one more swipe. And he'll be done liming, and then the, the fertilizers can have the field. So, uh, as soon as they get a little farther ahead, I'll get back with you. All right. Uh, we've got uh, the uh, big 9Rs. And uh, we're going to go over here and hook onto our planters and uh, get them ready. I don't know if we'll need three of them on this field, but we are set up for three. But I think on this smaller field, I think two of them will probably do the job. So anyway, we're going to hook onto them and get them ready to start planting. All right. And we'll get him over here and uh, get him ready. All right, our guys are done fertilizing. I've got one of the cedars uh, in place, ready to go. So we'll take this cedar back, put him back under the, the garage, put the tractor up, and uh, then we'll get our cedars going. All these garages and everything were already here, and they are big enough to get the X9s in, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, the ones that I have found earlier uh, that you place yourself, you can't get the X9 harvesters in. Uh, they're not, the poles aren't wide enough to get them through. They're tall enough, but you can't get them through. Well, this map, they're already here, and they're wide enough to get the X9. You can see them sitting over there. Uh, so that's, to me, that's just great. We'll get him in there, and uh, we'll get over there, and we'll get our uh, cedars started. All right, we're here on the field, and we are going to run up here a little ways and we're going to stop and we're going to go back here and we're going to check to see where our fertilizer state is and make sure it's where we want to be. Alright, that's far enough. 
but we'll pick it up and let's jump out of the tractor and let's go back here and see what we've done. Hmm. Well, let's see. I don't understand why it's not applying the fertilizer. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We're still only 50% fertilized. Now, it could be that we have to change. They're probably going to, even though this cedar cultivates as it goes, it looks like they're going to make us do a, they're going to make us cultivate it before we plant it. Uh, that makes no sense to me. <clears throat> anyway, uh, if that's what we need to do, then we will. We'll just, we'll cultivate it. Let's pick this up because we need to be 100% fertilized. And we'll just fold this. We won't seed it. We'll just cultivate and uh, see if we can get 100% fertilizer out of it then. Uh, if that's what we're going to have to do is cultivate the fields before we plant, uh, it would kind of be worth it if we can uh, get 100% fertilized state out of it. Uh, but I don't know. We'll, we'll park these off to the side here and I'll get a couple of cultivators in there and we'll cultivate it and find out. All right, we're gonna run a test here. Uh, we'll run this cultivator a couple of passes and then we'll get the planter back over here and see if that makes a difference uh, I'm not understanding why uh, we're not getting the second fertilizer state but we will get it figured out uh, like I said everything has changed on FS 22 and and uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. This could be one of the changes. Uh, but on Elm Creek, uh, we didn't seem to have that problem. So uh, I'm not understanding, but we will. Uh, I think that this cultivator may make a difference because we're changing the ground texture. So, but we'll soon find out, and we'll do whatever we need to do uh, to get the job done. All right, we're going to run a little bit of a test here and uh, see what happens. So we'll run up here a little ways. We change the ground texture there you know by cultivating so let's stop right there and now let's jump out of the tractor and go back and see what we did this time hopefully yes that is what they're going to make us do is cultivate the field Okay, well, with that being said, uh, then I'm going to get this guy cultivating. I'll buy another cultivator, and we'll get him going, and uh, uh, that's the way to achieve the 100%. They're going to make us cultivate it, even though that planter cultivates as it goes. So, uh, that's new. And that must be an update that they've, that Giants has done.
So, anyway, I'll get back with you. All right. Well, we've got two tractors uh, in this field uh, cultivating. And I think that'll be enough for this time because this is a small field. Uh, and it won't take them long. They'll have it done. So, uh, we'll wait for them to get a little farther along. Actually, they're going to have to complete the field. And uh, then we'll get our, our planters going. And it sure won't take them long, and they'll have it planted. But uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing that that's a, a new thing. That's a new update. And that's fine. That's good. Uh, that's just another step. You know, unless they're not seeing that. Uh, it could be that uh, maybe they'll do another update and say, well, okay, on the cedars that cultivates, uh, then we need, you know, previous our prior cultivation is not needed. So, uh, I don't know, but it doesn't matter to me because it's farming. Uh, we're working the land, we're working the ground, we're getting seed planted, and, uh, you know, and that's good with me. That's what I'm here for. So, uh, hopefully, uh, you're getting something out of this video like I am uh, I didn't know that that had changed I really didn't uh, but like I said every day I learn something every day and that's a good thing all right well we're gonna let these guys get this field cultivated and then we'll get our uh, cedars in here and we'll get it we'll get it planted so I'll see you when we get a little farther along all right well our cultivators are far enough ahead uh, that I went on ahead and started this planter and uh, I think they've got maybe a couple of rounds left so we'll get this planter started and uh, see if we can get some seed in the ground. I am very happy to see how this is working. Uh, and there's going to be updates. Uh, it's a new game. So we've just got to constantly check and, you know, it could be what we did yesterday don't work today. We have to do it a little differently. And uh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we just have to keep an open mind and uh, just keep, keep checking on it. So in this particular case, uh, what used to work doesn't work anymore. You have to do it differently. So we have to, once we put the lime down and the fertilizer, the first state of fertilizer, then we have to come in and cultivate the ground. Uh, if we do not cultivate the ground before planting, then we will not get the second stage of fertilizer. And it, it doesn't matter if the, the cedar that you're using or the planter that you're using is a direct drill. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, you still got to cultivate the field first. So, okay. That's what we've done and that's what we'll continue to do. Uh, it, like I said earlier, it could be that that will all change at some point. Maybe they'll recognize the fact that, hey, this is a direct drill planter, so 
uh, prior cultivation is not necessary whenever you're using a direct drill. Uh, and if so, and I find that out, then okay, I'll let you know about that. Uh, but this is looking real good. And we talked about this in an earlier uh, video. The next step to reaching 100% on this field is it has to be rolled. Well, yes. Let's jump out of this tractor real quick. Uh, rolling, if we step onto this field after he's planted it here, All right, this field right now is at 100% fertilizer and the yield bonus is plus 98%. So what that tells me and from previous work that I've done on it, if I come in here and I roll this field now, it's only going to give me 2%, 2% yield bonus. Okay, we've talked about this, and I've kicked it around. I am a 100% guy. I like 100%. However, uh, there comes a time when you have to weigh out uh, what makes sense and what doesn't. So, 2% of the yield that you're going to get on this field uh, is it worth it? You know, how much money is actually involved there whenever you sell the crop? Uh, and does that pay the, the fuel cost? Does that pay the labor cost? Uh, you know, and even if it did, uh, even if it just breaks even, and pays the labor cost and the fuel cost and the wear and tear, the maintenance on the tractors and the equipment and stuff, uh, you're still not gaining anything because you didn't make anything off of it. So why do it? You know, if you can't make money after your cost, then why do it? So that's where I'm at right now and to be honest about it, I think, I think I'm going to eat that two percent, and uh, and we'll just we're not going to roll the fields. We're we're going to eat the two percent and see how it turns out. So, anyway, I'll get back over there and I'm going to check on my cultivators. This guy's getting right along, uh, planting. So. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, we've got one cultivator that has already finished his job. This one is on his last pass. And uh, everything is looking real good. Uh, I love that ground texture. That is just awesome. Uh, that is exactly what you'd expect to see. And then whenever you come in and plant it, if you step onto the field after you've planted, that looks so realistic. It is just excellent. So anyway, we're going to let this guy finish this pass. We'll get him out of the field and we'll get our second planter started. And they'll have this field done pretty quickly. So, we'll get him out of the field and we'll get back with you. All right, we've got both of our planters uh, going in this field. And uh, I'm quite sure that... Uh, our fertilizer uh, stage is correct. Uh, 
uh, because we checked it a while ago on the test. So this is excellent. This is uh, this is big farming right here. Uh, we'll have once I learn course play. Now I've run course play course play for hours and hours and hours on FS19, but it is totally, completely different uh, on FS22. And I've just got to learn it. I don't think all the features are there yet, uh, and I do have the latest uh, edition, the latest updates on it, and it's going to continue to you know, they're going to continue to add to it. They're going to continue to add features to it. Uh, but I've just got to get in there and learn it. Because, like I said, it's it's completely different. You set it up, a whole, just it's all completely different. Because it's integrated with the AI workers now. So, and I'm, I'm sure it's going to work great for us. I've been through the controls and everything, and I do not see where you can set it up for multiple tools in the field. Uh, I see a convoy mode, and uh, but I'm not seeing where you can program it to run multiple tools. I'm not saying it ain't there. I'm saying that I haven't seen it. Uh, but I will. I'll get in there and I'll learn it. I'll try to find some brochure on it, read up on it, and uh, and we'll get it running right because we're going to have to. Uh, this is a small field. I mean small. Uh, like I said earlier, we've got fields on this map that's 2,000 plus acres. Yeah. That, that's a big field. That's big. And I can't wait to dive into one of them. But I'm going to need the help of course play whenever we start that. Uh, auto drive. Yeah, I don't have so many problems with auto drive. Auto drive is working real good. Real good. Uh, so... Uh, and I'm sure course play is too. You know, there's nothing wrong with the mod at all, I'm sure. It's me. Uh, I've just got to learn it. So, uh, with that being said, I think we're going to call this a video. If you like this content, please go down there and give me a like, a thumbs up. I'd sure appreciate it. If you'd like to follow me on this big commercial farming, big fields, go down there and hit that subscribe button. Because we're gonna we're gonna get into some big, big farming. I mean huge farming. Uh, we'll have up to two, maybe even three trucks running, hauling our grain. So uh, it good times are coming I promise you good times are coming but anyway as for me the dirt road farmer I think we're gonna call this a video and until tomorrow as always thank you for watching